Hey folks and welcome to Car Stars 10 Surprising Facts about Ferris's 61 Ferrari 250 GT in the 1986 movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Fact number one. There were three different cars used to portray the 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California in the film. Fortunately, none of them were actually Ferraris at all, but just three 1985 model detailed replica cars built by the Mondina Design and Development Company. One car was the main hero actor driven car, another a stunt jump car, and lastly one was a designated prop crash car with no engine or drivetrain. Fact number two. An actual 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California is one of the rarest cars in existence. There are only 56 units ever created and they have an estimated value of over $15 million today. As a prime example of just how rare these cars are today, there was a real 1961 Ferrari 250 GT California that sold at a Gooding & Company auction in 2020 for $17.16 million. Fact number three. Unlike the actual 61 Ferrari GT that sported an elegant Italian V12 under the hood, the Mondinas were actually powered by more generic Ford V8 engines such as the 289 and the 302. The running cars built for this film had the 302 option with a Ferrari badging disguise. Fact number four. Although the hero car was presumed to have a manual transmission within the film, Matt Broderick couldn't drive a stick shift, so the car was actually built with an automatic transmission with a manual style of shifter to appear as if it were a manual transmission fitted car. Fact number five. Although most replica cars are based on a pre-existing production car chassis, the Mondinas feature a custom built steel tube chassis for reduced weight and enhanced rigidness. The bodies are also constructed of fiberglass, making this a fairly lightweight vehicle weighing in at around only 2,400 pounds. There were, however, some parts that were borrowed from pre-existing production vehicles. Some of these parts included a windshield from a Fiat 124 Spider, taillights from a Volkswagen Type 3, with a front bumper and trunk lid from an MGB. Fact number six. Since the prop crash car never ran under its own power, it was actually pulled through the glass garage window using a very long cable winding through an elaborate system of pulleys hidden from view among the surrounding trees. Fact number seven. The prop crash Mondino was repaired after filming, although it was left without an engine and drivetrain. The crash car came up for a bid in late 2022 at a heritage auction, and although it remains a non-functional prop car, it still sold for a hefty $337,000. Fact number eight. The stunt jump car was unleashed for the film and was returned to the manufacturer after filming, where the heavy damage sustained from the jump scene was repaired. It was then sold after being repaired and changed owners a number of times, the car even ended up in the UK for a time and was modified with a number of aftermarket parts. The stunt car has since returned to the US and was restored back to its as seen on screen condition by Greg Weldy of Highland, Maryland. This was the car that was displayed at the DC Mall for a week in 2018 and then later at the Henry Ford Museum in 2022. Fact number nine. The still fully functional actor-driven Hero Mondina was sold at an Amelia Island auction in March of this year for $313,000 including the buyer's premium. It does seem a bit odd that this most pristine, complete, and famous example of the three cars actually sold for less than the non-functioning prop car did. I guess that just proves that regardless of condition, the movie made these particular replica cars well known enough to sell in the 300 k plus price range, which is pretty impressive. Fact number 10. Although the original Mondina Design and Development Company ended operations in 1989 after a lengthy legal dispute with Ferrari, the company was later purchased by the Mondina Classic Design Group who has created a new version of the 250 GT replica with significantly higher quality parts and performance numbers nearing that of supercar levels. This new Mondina GT Spider features a carbon fiber body, a chrome tube chassis, and a Ford V8 engine with over 430 horsepower. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.